Hello lovelies. I wanted today to, to um, share with you how, well, how I'm going to clean my blending brushes. So sometimes the colours change or your brush just gets too grotty and you want to freshen them up. Now, some people just run them under the tap with soapy water and that's fine, but they, they're very dense and they can take days to dry. So unless you want a perfect brush, you're never going to get it looking like that again. <laughs> but unless um, you're happy just to get rid of the majority of the ink and you want to keep that ink colour in the same colour family. So, for instance, if I clean this up and then decide to keep using it with, with my blues, then that's fine. Same with the yellows or the pinks. And I think I think that's the way to go. Some people just just brush off and then just put a new colour of any blue on it. I like to have specific colours for specific brushes, but that's all up to you. Anyway, I've, I haven't done a lot of research, but I've done a little bit. And it's, it's water-based ink. It's not too hard to clean. I'm just going to bring in a waterproof mat and a cloth which okay i just you know what i just bought this as a big mix pack from bunnings if you're in in australia and it's quite good value you can get them anywhere supermarket whatever all different colors i purposely used the yellow so you could see how much ink's actually coming off onto onto the cloth you can also just use paper towels the other option is to use your stamp and scrub. Now, this is a, a fantastic tool. I actually put red, oh, I actually put blue for washing in, up in here. That's my washing side and red for my drying side. And this coordinates with stamp and mist. And that is a beautiful product you use it to clean your ink off your stamps so you would spray spray a little bit of stamp and mist on the on the wet the blue side and then dry it off on the on the white side on the red side and you can stamp it off and see how well it's dried off so that is another way because these fiber that you know the brushes are quite thick and that would help get in there. But saying that, if you see how much ink came off this brush, I got all that ink just off this brush. So you can imagine how inky that's gonna get and you're gonna to have to keep taking it out and washing it and cleaning it. So I've decided not to use that. I wanna just use the microfiber cloth. The other product you can use though is the Simply Chamois, which is something that washes easy and dry. It doesn't have to dry. So the Simply Chamois is pretty good. I keep mine in a card, a card cover and it gets well used as you can see. So we can try it with that as well because you can, that needs as much washing as, as this would. So, you know, it's up to you. Just try it. I think because of the fibers in here it might help get, I don't know. We'll try it out. We'll try both. And if you don't have stamp and mist, then water will will still work. I like stamp and mist because it conditions your stamps, and it might just um, is that's a bait. Might just help things a bit faster along, move things faster along. So let's let's do a. I've done a blue. I did this blue one this morning and you, you didn't see how blue that was. That was pretty blue. So let's start with a mega dark one so you can see, and I can see how well this works. So some spray onto the fabric. I, like, I just spray on straight onto, without wasting the product, I spray straight onto the brush itself. Now, because it is water-based, it's water activated so the minute it gets wet the ink's going to come alive again okay so example like there's a lot of ink on here you're not going to get a lot on on you it's, it's once it's wet you'll get a lot coming out now this is a very very dark i'd say this would be night of navy or 
something else, which in the future, like Knight of Navy is still a big active colour. So I could actually turn that into a Knight of Navy brush. I don't know what colour. I've pulled all the labels off. I don't know what it is. Now, when you pull your labels off, for example, just changing the subject here, when you want to pull this label off, if you do label yours, you get a bit of sticky. So I use Dissolve It. Again, you can get it at Bunnings. This is not an advertisement, but what I do is this is great because it gets rid of all sorts of sticky off everything and a bit of oh sorry a bit of rubbing and work and you'll have that all clean now I have to scratch off the actual plastic part but it does actually get rid of all the sticky and it also works really well on your work mats so for example this this pink mat here if I get glue or sticky substance on it, it cleans it off really quick so dissolve it is fantastic it's beautiful um, orange citrus smell it's a natural product and I love it anyway going back to what we were doing here we are cleaning this brush and as you can see there's a lot of ink coming off And I could cover maybe the whole the whole piece with this. This is a lot of ink. Like I said earlier, depending on what colour you plan to use next time, you don't need to get all of it off. You could just give it a freshen up. And it's nice to have cleaner bristles they pick up the ink better and disperse the ink better I'm not trying to saturate this brush because I don't want it to be wet for days I think that can cause problems too now that's pretty set that's pretty messy so I'm going to start on a new side well used brush as you can see and I don't want to wear the fibers out on the brush either so I'm not trying to kill it here and like I said because it's such a dark brush you can I can see it's getting lighter you may not see that but this can take quite a while the brush to touch is not saturated but it is slightly damp If I was to choose to use this on a lighter ink, I, I wouldn't be afraid to do that. Once this has set and dried, I don't think it would alter. I think you just have to pick up a lot of the ink, the new ink on it to get it. But as you can see, it, you might go through a few, <laughs> a few of these microfibers this isn't a shamwell commercial <laughs> you might have to go through a few fibers to clean it but i think um this is what i'll be doing with all my pieces if you really want to test it and see if like because it's wet it's still going to come out with blue but you just keep working it maybe put a good tv show on while you're doing it and there's different angles, like I know it gets darker down here, so I, I brush it down there. So you can see there's a lot more to come off on the blue. Okay, so we've worked out the blue is a hard job, but I luckily, like I said, I can use that for any kind of blue, maybe not the lighter blues. But definitely the darker blues okay let's try this one this looks I think that was a melon mambo which oh, sorry a mango melody which is retired and again we're gonna have we've got pumpkin pie we've got crushed curry this will this will be fine with all of those and the, if, if you're a blender queen like I am, like I love to blend, 
Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of other colours on your brush anyway. It actually adds interest to your work. So this is actually coming off a lot easier. You can see that's already getting a lot lighter. I think I started with the hardest one. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to prove or sell anything here. I'm just giving tips and tricks of what I would do, and I'm doing, obviously, to clean my brushes up. Now, like I said, you can actually soak these in soapy hot, well, soapy water. Look at my fingers. <laughs> you can wash these in soapy water and let them dry for days out in the sun. By sure, that would probably get out a more, uh, a lot more ink. But I don't want to do that. It's autumn here. It's colder. Things aren't drying as well. And I just want to get things ready for the new catalogue and have some reasonably clean brushes ready to go with some of the new colours. Now that's come out a lot lighter. You may or might not notice that. You can see how deep the pigments are going into the brush, but that's, again, that's the character. And if you're really particular, um, just get a new brush. I mean, it's not a big deal. But I'm just, yeah, I'm just cleaning them up and seeing how they... How they look at the end okay let's try the um simply chamois now this has not been cleaned so this might be a little bit dirty from past use so this color i think was the pink that was that's just recently retired so we'll see how that works on here on the chamois i don't i have no idea i've never used it on the chamois i don't know it doesn't seem to be doing much So I don't, I really don't know if that's working. I mean, it doesn't seem to have a lot of residue here. Let's just put some on, on the, I think this is the best way to go because of the, the roughness of the fibres compared to the chamois. Bit of an experiment getting ink all over myself. But the good thing is like these brushes, they're a little bit damp because I have sprayed them, but they're not soaking wet. So if I wanted to use them in a few hours, I would confidently happily use them. Anyway, all your comments are welcome. Love to know what you guys do. It's always nice to share new ideas and what what we what we try and and do. So that's come up quite well. I can't see a lot of residue coming off that now, and that was quite dark pink. So that was using the stamp and mist. I'm sure you could just use the same or get the same finish with water. I think the secret is the microfiber and keep turning and using clean parts of the microfiber. And like I said, I've used a yellow one so you could see how much ink actually does come off from the blending brushes. And because it's water-based, that's a no-brainer. It's going to happen. So there we go, my loves. I will um, keep working on my brushes so they're fresh and ready for the new in colors and the new 15 new colors coming into the new catalog i um i might even post the befores and afters anyway thank you for watching i hope that's given you some tips and tricks on what to do this is the brushes when they're brand new by the way who's <laughs> on the water bit this up but you know what i love my brushes because they are actually I mean, I've got a ton more that are still current and I love them all because they've got the, the uh, patina on them. They've got a bit of character. So if you mix light and dark, it doesn't matter, but you just don't want to put dark in your light ink pad. That was all. So keep some light blues, keep some dark blues, keep them separate. Same as your pinks and your oranges and yellows. But anyway, I hope that has helped you. Thanks for watching. Bye.